Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. We are back on the Conquest of Azeroth server. We're playing with the Stormbringer today. Gonna do a little take, see how this guy's doing. Uh, we named him Point Break, you know, after the most powerful Avenger, Thor. Uh, we're gonna grab some of these quests real quick. Just gonna complete these. I'm not sure, they're still a little bit bugged. Um, I was just working on the the uh, Oracle guy, and his quests are a little bit bugged, so we're gonna see what we're doing here hopefully we can get a couple of these without forgetting which ones they are um so cool thing about this guy is he's mostly lightning and wind i believe um he's got a couple couple uh talents wind gifts and lightning this is neat gifts okay um probably gonna be going something like lightning that sense seems like the coolest wind is more of like a support looks like so far we have ball lightning which basically a little lightning bolt actually looks really cool um, which generates static. So static is basically a builder. So it builds up, and if you get to 100%, you take a lot of damage. Um, let me hit this guy up real quick. I'll show you guys. So you start to build, and once you get to 100%, you get stunned and take a lot of damage. So it's kind of like a management, which is pretty cool. Um, but I believe you get some like extra stuff once you get to like a certain threshold before the 100, like each mark. So like at 20, you get his amusement, and it drains over time to help manage that. Um, his respect drains increased static over time, just a higher, faster static. And then at 70, um, okay, so that basically drains faster and deals extra bunch of extra damage and grants you access to extra abilities, it looks like. So we'll, we'll level up a few times, see how that works. We have a wind guard, which increases the magic resistance. That's pretty neat. I don't really see that on anybody else. All right, we're at uh, his respect. Which... Oh, okay, look at that. Look at those animations there. That's pretty sweet. That's only the first ability. Nice. All right, that doesn't reset on level up. That's something good to know. Um, but yeah, it looks basically like you just go... Full Thor mode. That's pretty sweet. I wonder what other kind of abilities we want to get. It's a little bit on the loud side, but that's all right. I think we have to get, take care of these walls. We're gonna um, see if we can get a couple of these quests done. Actually, you know, I want to build up to 100%, and I want to see what that does. I wonder, like, if it's even easy because like it drops so quickly. You almost have to like try to get it there. Right, here we go, 100%. Oh yeah. That almost killed me. Wow. Yeah. Damage taken increased by 100 to 99%. Whoa. Yeah, so that basically almost killed us. If we did that in the middle of the combat, we would not survive. Um, and that was like 7, 8 second stun, I think. Definitely really cool, though. You kind of just have to manage your lightning abilities without getting overloaded. Really cool aesthetic so far. This lightning is well... Uh, well animated. I'm surprised. They didn't, I mean, I think in the beginning they might have just reused the lightning bolt. Um, but they look like they put a little bit of work into it. Right. Um, I, I'm guessing we should have finished the wolves by now. So let's see if we can turn that in. Um, and then we'll be back next time we level up. We got this new ability, boys. That absolutely shreds. So it does double damage when you're empowered. Um, and it also casts in like half a second. It's called Call Lightning. Uh, pretty generic, but when you drop this on somebody, it's almost like one hit. Especially if you get a crit. Like you build up your um, your static, get that about 80%, and then you drop this on somebody, bam, one health left. So yeah, basically, uh, just does a ton of lightning damage, lightning strike basically. And with your, your static build up, it does double damage, so it's so strong. Other than that, we haven't gotten anything else so far. Um, I think maybe level 8 we might get something. We're just over here picking up some of these berries. And then I think we're going to head back over to this town here. And then to probably Goldshire. Alright, boys. Well, we were using our new ability, Crackling Surge. And uh, basically just like a another ability to throw in with the loop. Um, it does sometimes get insta-casts and recasts that you can do. Um, but it also generates static, which I wasn't paying attention to, and I got overloaded, and I died. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, boys, we just got to level 10. We got Mystic Thunder. Strikes an enemy with an otherworldly thunderbolt. 
Dealing a bunch of damage, interrupting spell casting. Um, and a little bit of a silence there, and increases the target spell haste. Oh, it reduces the target spell haste. Okay. So it's just an instant strike, basically. Hmm. Okay, not too bad so far. Um, let's see, this guy. Nothing else to train. We had to go kill some gnolls. Um, not quite sure where... Th oh, I think they're all the way back here, actually. So why don't we head over there? We'll do that quest real quick, and we'll be back. Hey, we're over here at the Jasper Load Mine, and we actually got a quest fix, so that's definitely nice to have, finally. See how many quests we actually have. Ran into... Oh, she's not this one. There's a mother spider in here, which is a elite, and it's a rare, so we're going to take her down. Taking out a couple of these spiders. Um, I got a couple of abilities. I think I showed off this one already. We also got this Surge, which is pretty good. Oh, here she is. I don't think I'm going to be able to take her on without full health, so let's uh, backtrack real quick. We got this uh, this one here, which is a heal. Oh, yeah. I don't think we'll be able to take her on, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, she had a lot of damage. This character is just really not strong for multiple enemies. So let's see if we can take her out. Oh, this guy's gonna help out. Yeah, get her, boys. Nice. How kind of you. Thank you, boys. That was sweet. Oh, he's a primalist. Nice. We got anything good? Um, some decent shoulder or decent chest piece. Um, let's go with that. And nothing really else. We got this uh, offhand. I don't really want to do that. Uh, we're actually almost level 14. We're going to finish up a couple of these spiders. And I think I need maybe one more. So I'm going to help this guy out. So he help me and uh, get the last spider silk. And then head back to Old Shire. Be careful. Alright boys. And we made it to 15. What did we get so far? Vortex. Oh, a stun. Nice. And then... Extra crit chance while they're stunned. That's pretty neat. Um, does it cost anything? No, it's just a cooldown. So yeah, this will probably be good to hit them with that. Build up our static and drop the lightning on them. Nice, not too bad. Um, this heal is is all right. It's a little bit weaker, but I realized I did have to train for a couple things, so that helped out a lot. Train for the vortex. I don't know why this keeps popping up up there. All I'm doing is training. But uh, what is this for? Just wants to give us something, okay? And reach level 20. We'll do that. We'll turn in the rest of these quests here. Hey there. See you around. Sweet. All right. Not too bad, boys. Oh, we got one more in here, I think. Um, we do have some gear we can finally put on. That's going to be nice. There we go. Sweet. Getting decked out now. Oh, that's a nice looking cloak. Uh, where's this last one at? It might be upstairs. Or maybe even downstairs. Oh, here it is in here. All right. Be with you. Ooh, some new robes, and they're not really that Safe great, though. Travels. All right, not too bad. A oh, pretty cool class so far. Um, he's definitely, you know, decently you strengthed. The only thing that kind of sucks is he's not very good at, you know, back to back or multiple enemies. Um, building up his static is nice, but this is like the only really static drainer that we have, and it's got a 15 second cooldown, so. Without this, you're basically just spamming this, waiting for it to come off of the static charge. Other than that, he's pretty cool. Um, this is a nice builder. This has a 10 second cooldown as well. And then this is a nice interrupt with a, a little bit of damage here and there. So we'll have to see how this vortex comes out. Maybe we can drop that and then drop this and basically like run around and one tapping people. Only thing about that is this is a 30 second, holy shit. A 30 second cooldown and this is a 15 second cooldown, so. We'll have to see how those morph as we level up. But yeah, this is the Stormbringer class. We'll uh, catch you on the next episode. We will level up a little bit more, hopefully get some more abilities. But uh, if you like, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.